Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is of the user interface in Excel 2019 or 365 after creating a new blank workbook. A workbook is the default file type in Excel, much like a document is the default file type in Word. A workbook can contain multiple worksheets that store and manipulate data within their columns and rows. By default, Excel gives you one worksheet in a new blank workbook. The default worksheet's default name is Sheet 1 and appears on the Worksheet tab in the lower left corner of the workbook window. By default, each workbook you create or open appears in a new Excel application window. If desired, you may open and then close different workbooks within a single Excel application window. If you close the workbook within an opened Excel application window, some of the items within the Excel environment still appear on screen until you exit the application window itself. The application window is the outer frame of the program that contains the workbooks you open or create. It consists of the title bar, the quick access toolbar, the ribbon, the formula bar, and the status bar. Any workbooks you create or open appear within the application window. When you exit the Excel application or close a workbook in an Excel application window, Excel prompts you to save any changes made to any open workbooks before closing. Workbooks appear inside the application window. Each workbook contains an individual worksheet, the worksheet tabs, the worksheet scroll bars, and the previous sheet and next sheet buttons. Examine the individual elements that comprise the Excel application window and the workbooks within it. In addition to knowing the names of these objects and where they appear on screen, you also need to know the function of each object within Excel. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.